सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ डिसेबलमेंट सो गाइज बिफोर गेटिंग इन टू द वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वॉट इज डिसेबलमेंट सो डिसेबलमेंट इज टर्म्ड एज द लैक ऑफ एफिशियंसी टू वर्क और मूव इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ डिसेबलमेंट इन द वर्कमैन कंपनसेशन एक्ट डिसेबलमेंट इज क्वाइंड एज द रिडक्शन इन अर्निंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय ड्यू टू द हैपनिंग ऑफ इवेंट और एक्सीडेंट विच इज अकर्ड ड्यूरिंग एम्प्लॉयमेंट विच इज कम्पेंसेटेड बाय द एम्प्लॉयर्स अंडर द वर्कर्स कम्पेंसेशन एक्ट सो इन जनरल टर्म्स डिसेबलमेंट इज द लैक ऑफ एफिशियंसी टू वर्क और मूव एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू एक्ट द डिसेबलमेंट मीन्स इट इज द रिडक्शन इन अर्निंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय एंड विच इज हैपन्ड बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉज ऑफ इवेंट और एक्सीडेंट ड्यूरिंग द एम्प्लॉयमेंट दिस मस्ट बी नोटेड दैट द एक्ट लीड्स टू द स्टेप्स ऑफ टेकिंग केयर ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज सो दैट दे वर्क फॉर फर्दर मोर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ डिसेबलमेंट द टाइप्स ऑफ डिसेबलमेंट इन द वर्कमैन कंपनसेशन एक्ट कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू टू दैट इज टोटल डिसेबलमेंट एंड सेकेंड इज पार्शल डिसेबलमेंट विच कैन बी फर्दर कैटेगराइज एज टेम्पररी डिसेबलमेंट और परमानेंट डिसेबलमेंट फर्स्टली टॉकिंग अबाउट टोटल डिसेबलमेंट इन विच इट इज क्लासिफाइड एज टोटल डिसेबलमेंट दैट इज परमानेंट वन एंड अदर इज टोटल डिसेबलमेंट दैट इज टेम्पररी वन सो इन टोटल डिसेबलमेंट दैट इज द परमानेंट वन द नेम सजेस्ट द टोटल परमानेंट इन टाइप ऑफ डिसेबलमेंट इन वर्कर कंपनसेशन एक्ट स्टेट्स अ कंडीशन वर द एम्प्लॉय फेस इज अ लाइफ टाइम इंजरी or the life pending in his company due to the accident along with a reduction in major efficiency to work so let us understand this definition with an example where we can consider that if suppose mr x is working in a marketing department and uh, comes across an accident which is leading to paralysis in his legs therefore in such a case he cannot continue his field work this is an example of permanent disability the second type of total disablement is temporary total temporary in types of disablement in workman compensation act refers to a situation where the employee suffers a major reduction in his work which he did before the injury but for a temporary basis let us also discuss an example for this definition suppose a person mr x is working in a marketing department and meets an accident which results a fracture in his legs in this case he cannot continue his field work but for a temporary basis so the main difference between permanent disablement and temporary total disablement is that in the case of permanent total disablement the person cannot continue the field work for his rest of the life but in the case of temporary total disablement the person can con continue his field work after a temporary basis So now moving further we will discuss about the second type of disablement that is partial disablement partial disablement has also two sub categories that is partial disablement permanent and partial disablement temporary so now firstly talking about partial disablement permanent partial permanent in types of disablement in workman compensation act occurs when an employee's capacity to work compresses or decreases as compared to the work done by him before the injury but for a lifetime so let us understand the definition with an example an example is that that if rahul is a data entry operator and loses left hand in an accident being a right handed person he will be able to perform his task with all the reduction in his efficiency for his whole life which is termed as a partial permanent disablement means a person means rahul is able to do his work with his right hand but the efficiency of work is reduced and it is for his whole life so it is considered as partial permanent disablement for the talking about the second classification of partial disablement that is temporary partial disablement so temporary partial disablement in types of disablement the workman compensation act does not affect the work of the employee to a great extent as a result it explains a reduction in the employee's capacity to work that for a temporary basis in this case he can get the least compensation depending on the type of an accident 
Samely, we will be discussing this definition with an example. The example is that for a data entry operator, a fracture in his left hand for a temporary basis might capacitate his work as he used to do the work before the accident, but it would be present only for a temporary basis, which is referred to as a temporary partial disablement of an employee. So guys, in this video, we discuss about what is disablement and the types of disablement. Let us summarize the types of disablement with an example, where the example of permanent total disablement was, suppose a person is working in a marketing department and has come across an accident leading to paralysis in his leg, therefore in such cases he cannot do the field work for his rest of the life, which refers to a permanent total disablement. And in the case of total temporary disablement, the person X working in a finance department or a marketing department meets an accident and results in a fracture in his legs. In that cases, he cannot continue the field work but for a temporary basis. Another type was of partial disablement in which the permanent partial disablement meant's example was that, that a person is a data entry operator and loses his left hand in an accident. But being a right-handed person, he would be able to perform his tasks but with reduction in his efficiency to work, which is termed as partial permanent disablement. And lastly, the temporary partial disablement. The example for temporary partial disablement was the data entry operator has a fracture in his leg. So during that duration of recovery, he would not able to complete the work with the same efficiency before the accident, but it will be for a temporary basis. So it will be termed as temporary partial disablement. So guys, that's all for this video. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. And for more videos related to chemical engineering, process engineering or chemical safety, industrial safety, you can subscribe to this channel.